9618. Live across America, Mike Horn and Paul Stern and What's Cooking on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Hey, welcome to the big What's Cooking program, Hour 2. I'm Michael Horn. Hello, Paul Stern. Well, hello, Michael Horn, and an exciting edition of the head of What's Cooking. How exciting is it, Paul? Well, it's about as exciting as it gets with Sean Robinson from Access Hollywood joining us to talk a little uh, post Golden Globes. Yeah, we were, uh, she's great. In fact, I think uh, Sheila Gilmore and our staff was talking with her one time about doing a radio show with us, and uh, Sean was out there on the, uh, was she on the red carpet or behind the scenes, or where was she at the Golden Globes? Uh, she did it all. We'll talk about it. Find out about that from Sean. Who else on the show? Uh, we're going to talk with um, Brittany Snow, uh, Jenna Backstrom on NBC's Harry's Law. Yeah, and uh, this is a news show. I didn't realize David E. Kelly produced this. He's the guy that did Boston Legal, The Practice. Alec McBeal. Yeah, this should be a good one. Should indeed be a good one. I'm looking forward to this. It's starting, I think, on NBC coming up uh, today. I think it starts tonight. Is it tonight? When does the show start? Do you know? Uh, let me go ahead and uh, look on into it. I would imagine it could be the tonight. It certainly could be. In fact, I believe it is. I believe. They got that new show, The Cape, on NBC. They got. Have you seen that show, The Cape? Have not seen it, but it sounded very good. It's, it's actually pretty good. I think Courtney on our staff has a picture of the star of that show on the wall in her office kind of wearing a cape, but now he's sort of got a mask. He's got to t toss the cape, and he's got a mask, and he's doing all that stuff. Anyway, quite good stuff. It's Martin Luther King Day. We hope uh, a lot of you that have the day off will uh, reflect on uh, on what this day is all about and the man and uh, what he did for civil rights and for freedom in this country. And so uh, we uh, wish you a happy and uh, and uh, reflective Martin Luther King Day this year. So uh, that uh, we say that might be a day when you travel around somewhere. Traffic may be lighter today, do you think, Paul Stern? Is it a three-day weekend lot of for people, a lot of people? A lot of people get I believe the stock market is closed. Probably the post office uh, will uh, withhold delivery today. And, you think uh, no delivery today? I don't think so. And then a lot of businesses are having sales. Well, over uh, really, some Martin Luther King Day sales. Okay. What do they put on sale? Just like regular discount uh, items and that sort of thing? I think, uh, for whatever it's worth, mattresses are a big uh, sale really? item on Martin Luther King Day. Really? Not, not, not to, not to draw anything any anything to do with Martin Luther not, King. Not to draw any conclusions. <laughs> okay. I did, but. Although, Martin Luther King, I'm sure he did have to get a reasonable amount of sleep uh, doing those incredible speeches and the work that he did. So I think mattresses, you know, I get confused. I think those are on former President Clinton. Will you stop it? Just sorry, absolutely so just stop it. Just absolutely just stop it. I absolutely just stop Sorry it. about that. Okay. I think you might be confused, though. Anyway, I'm I'm wiped out. You know, the, the holidays, I don't know how many of you feel this <laughs> Time way. for the mattress, it's huh? Time for a mattress, really. It's time for a mattress. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, the holidays, they oh. come and they go so quickly now as you get older that it takes you a while to get your Christmas decorations up and it takes you longer, like to put a string of lights up on your house. You know, I used to be able to whip that up as a kid up there in like 10 minutes. Now, sure. like 10 hours, you're like going up each rung of the ladder and it's like putting these lights up. And then to take them down, they say, well, well, they come down a lot quicker. Well, no, they don't, actually. It's like I have like a warehouse. I believe it's like I have warehouse 13 is in my garage right now, ladies and gentlemen. There are some Christmas decorations from Christmases I don't even remember. And to actually try to put those up and uh, take down these, I put these little scenes together. I'm like a five-year-old kid when I put them up. When I take them down, I'm like an 85-year-old man. And you got to put these scenes and take them down and box them up. I'm a, little, I'm a little wiped out on the show today. I might be a little out of it. Every every muscle on my body, you can touch my thumb, and it, it, I jammed it somewhere. I'm telling you, that's how bad it is. So, I'm going to take a couple of pain pills, settle back, and enjoy myself on the show. What did you do over the weekend, Paul Stern? I had some interesting dining experiences. Really? At, uh, et al. All right, we'll find out about that and a whole lot more. Stay with us. The What's Cooking program in progress on CRN Digital Talk Radio.